the latest on the major recall. It's something that could affect all of us. It's a huge problem in healthcare. I don't have thousands of Performance may not be a key. Like magic here. Dr. Douglas is beyond They're getting knowledge. They're And we're talking about uh, what GMOs are. Some insurance premiums have doubled in the past decade. <laughs> it's very important for everyone to know what they're putting on their dinner table for their families. A near-death state can occur to anyone at any age. We're not just another, another talking head show. We're going to challenge ideas, investigate, and we'll get the answers for people. One out of four children in this country has some sort of chronic illness. Asthma, autism, learning but disabilities. three out of four don't. And that's my point. My point is that we cannot say, ascribe these illnesses to something that the majority of people don't have. We will make it interesting. We will make it real. We'll offer a solution that's in-depth give you all the alternatives, and that's not gonna happen in five minutes. We're not gonna go on some shows, they talk about prostate cancer in five minutes, and then you'll talk about what makes your nails hard. When complex. you're having this problem, you should, obviously you may have multiple doctors, and we like that, you know, that you may have to be able to see somebody like Jill, who's an acupuncturist, you may see somebody like yourself, Absolutely. but have the whole picture and use all your techniques, because bottom line, it's an important problem and you need to solve it. What we're trying to do is, hey, let's clarify it for you. What do you ask the farmers? I mean, what kind of questions should we ask them? Um, a great question to ask is just to say, can you tell me a little bit more about your growing practices? Here's the deal. This is what's going on, and we will give you the tools. Make it flexible, make it easy, make it understandable, so you don't have to go to other resources. You can just stop right here and get the information you need. There are a lot of healthy people that say, you know what, I know if I go to the emergency room, somebody's gonna take care of me. So I am not gonna pay a dime for insurance because me as a physician, I don't have a choice. American business has had so long to fix this, and we keep going back and forth, and it just goes out of control. So what, what choices and what ideas are out there that are alternatives to this that would work. Take the best from Western medicine, take the best from Eastern medicine, put it together and make it simple for yourself. A little demonstration of acupuncture, Julie, right here. Absolutely. First of all, the needles are actually very thin. Now today, we're talking about a difficult subject, suicide. He died about a half hour later on the operating table. I'm sorry. Because he lacerated his liver. There are lots of people who are suffering who, um, you know, we can't really talk about it because people think that it will cause them to do that when, when we know that's not the case. Even after, quote unquote, you're dying or you're dead, there are mental processes that are still ongoing. Here today is Dr. Mary Neal. She's an avid kayaker, a board certified orthopedic spine surgeon who drowned while kayaking on the South American River. The people said you were down for 30 minutes. The people who resuscitated me would say that I was without oxygen for 30 minutes. We're talking about impossible to impossible to completely impossible. All this is, is, is just like a, a, like a fictional story, it seems like, but it's real. It's a dark room and you can focus energy between your fingers and you can very easily see the energy move as your fingers We're move. We're talking about little sparks and things? It literally looks for most people like a line going between your fingers. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, it's, it's actually extremely easy to see. And you saw that as a kid. Yeah, it's kid. something I, I thought was normal. And it wasn't until, like I said, I was about 13 that I realized that a lot of people aren't sensitive to this. Today on Ask Dr. Nandy, we're talking about poverty. Now last year, Sylvia Hubbard and her three children were thrown into extreme poverty when the house they were renting burned to the ground under eight minutes. It yeah, was exactly. like a literal backdraft. And by that time, I knew I, I couldn't handle the fire. And I oh. sent the kids out the house. I wanted to be able to own a house. And someone gave me the interest of Habitat for Humanity in another county that was away from Detroit. But I love Detroit so much that I went to the Detroit Habitat for Humanity website and I filled out an application there. And guess what? What? You were selected to get a house for 2014. <laughs> and then as Dr. Nandy Charities would also like to make a donation to get you and your family beds that, that, that they can sleep on, real beds. So no, no more doors, a real bed. You know, he's got all this academic stuff going for him. He's 
extremely bright. He was the Rhodes Scholar representative of Ohio State. He got the full academic scholarship. And then he's kind of got that charm and wit because he was the homecoming king. We have some serious business to talk about. My job is to put him at ease, right, any way I can. That is the Indian DMX. <laughs> so you're DMX without the pit bull. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. <laughs> How does his head move? How does his head move? Yeah, like that, yeah. Well, his humor is really quick. He's very quick-witted. All right. Will you tell him, Fred, your nighttime show, what it's called? I don't know. They, they all seem to cater to you. I don't but know they you love this one. It's called, yeah. it's called Don't Act Fred Nothing. Because yeah. <laughs> you should already know. It's very short and to the point. They'll be in and they'll be out. On Showtime. <laughs> I like what I do. And, and when you like what you do, sometimes you're happy. And when you're happy, you can communicate with people. If you hate what you do, you just want to get through the day. And when you get through the day, you say, hello, Mrs. Jones. It will be that much and have a good day. But here's a thing. I'll show you. Why don't you come over here? I'll show you. This. I worked every job there is. I used to work at Burger King and Wendy's at the same time. I was a busser. I clean houses. I mean, and why am I saying that? Because you know what it does? It makes you empathetic. It makes you be able to understand we cannot put people in boxes. I That's what it's all about. I hear it all day long. Don't even worry about it. Take the baseline out. Right, he's like in his like lab coat on his way to work, but like Jay-Z is just busting through. I mean, like when he parked, you can hear it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your authentic, true self is actually the best thing you have. I deeply and completely accept myself. I hollered at him and I said, take your pants down and show us what you got. <laughs> we want the best quality show so that people have the best information, the best alternatives, and we don't want to half-ass it. The ways to find your special someone could also be challenging. This show has really prepared me to take to the next level. Finally acknowledge that <laughs> women are just smarter and they're going to do better than us. There's a beautiful word in the Hindi language that literally means the light in me honors the light in you. And that word is namaste. Namaste to each and every one of you. And see you next time. So are, are you Dr. Awesome? <laughs> you gotta ask my wife that. <laughs>